Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Say hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. This car is very special to us. First off, uh, it's beautiful, right? Second, we built this car. We built this car from scratch and uh, somebody enjoyed it for a little bit and now it's your turn to finally get it. And this is the way I suggest you buy a classic car. You let somebody else spend the money restoring the car front to back, right? And then let them drive it for a little bit and you get to buy it at a nice discount. And with only uh, less than 2,000 miles showing on the car, it's like brand new to begin with. There is way too many things that we installed on this car to make it a modern day driving car to, for me to run down here. So we have a nice printed out in the uh, website when you go to the pictures of it there. But let me just highlight on a couple of things. Let's talk about drivetrain for a minute. All aluminum drivetrain. We're talking about including the engine, the heads, the transmission. All of those things are aluminum components. So we have a much lighter car to start with. We have a full modern suspension underneath. We have a footprint that's 100% wider, 100% wider, right, than the original factory footprint of the tires that are on this car right now. So you're talking about stability, acceleration. Because there's less weight in here, it brakes even better, even though it has four-wheel disc brakes that are cross drilled and slotted rotors, QA1 coil or sorry, QA1 shocks all the way around too. This car is fabulous driving because you can read all you want about it, you can look at all the pictures, but what you really care about is how does it drive. And what I'm telling you now is I have driven this car many times and it drives beautiful. I love looking at the cow induction hood and I'm rolling down the street. Now here's the choice you need to make. Do you put on white stripes on this car or do you not? Or do you put on matte black stripes on this car or do you leave it just the way it is? That's kind of your call. We can do that for you here. That's the ability that we have to make any adjustments that you might like to have. Let's go to the quality of the paint that everybody always makes fun of me about, but I like to show it, man. It looks really great. This is a color off of a modern Corvette, all right? And it's fabulous. It's metallic black paint. So in these lights here, it looks black. Once you get a little closer, it's got a metallic in it. It is so dynamite. All right, so let's take a peek under here because this is where your motivation comes from. But you also might want to go to a car show too and you need to be able to show off the engine compartment. This is what we're talking about. All of the detail in here. You say, well, Tone, how does a car get to be $125,000? Let me explain to you some of those things. A drivetrain alone like this can run upwards of, with installation and all the upgrades that you need to have with it, right, $20,000. You add in things like air conditioning and modern heat. So you have ice cold air conditioning and modern heat. A be cool radiator system here. I'm a huge fan of keeping the car cool. This radiator is 100% bigger than the factory radiator that came from uh, GM. Plus it has dual electric fans that are molded into the back there. These hinges alone, roughly a thousand dollars just for hood hinges. You say, well, Tom, that doesn't sound like a lot of money. Well, a stock set of hood hinges is $45. So that gives you an idea of how much more this is. Willwood brakes, right? Look that up. Probably $4,000 for a full setup, not counting installation. You can start to see how all of this starts to pile up and how it becomes such a great car and why this is such a great deal. All right, so I wanted to point out a couple small things back here. We went ahead and we did a modern emblem package around the car. So this is today's modern cars with uh, LED taillights. It looks really, really great from behind. Just a little added touch with the stainless exhaust. And if you look under here, 
This gas tank here is a special gas tank for fuel injected cars where it's sealed, right? So you have to have that. And all the underneath is all brand new floor pans and bushings and bolts. All, I'm minimizing it, but I don't want to spend hours talking about uh, every little thing that we did to the car. Just assume that everything was taken apart, replated, replaced, or, or buffed or, or chased out. So in here, maybe the trunk's not such a big deal to you, but here we went ahead and we did things like we wet sanded and buffed the inside of the car. Got a beautiful trunk mat in here. And you say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about showing this? Well, I'd like to just show you the stuff, like new weather strippings and new locks and new emblems and new bumpers and new taillights. The list goes on and on and on. You can quickly see how a car becomes expensive. But this is why you want a car like this, because it is first basically a brand new car. All right, so come join me inside the car. But before we get in, just take a second and look around detail stuff. For instance, these don't come white, the speaker grills. We custom paint those so they don't stick out so much in the car. They still look a little bit old school, but you get a little modern look as well. We made sure to get a nice black radio, but check out the LED lighting that's in here. These are not stock bucket seats, but we covered them in the same material that you would have gotten circa 1969, where we added the houndstooth in the middle and uh, the white to go with it. And then once we get in this car, this is a stack of receipts to go with it, manuals and those kinds of things. We have things like power windows, we have tilt wheel, we have a full gauge setup with uh, uh, everything from oil, water temperature, 8,000 RPM TAC, 160 mile an hour speedometer, nice Kenwood digital sound system, you can stream your music to, uh, everything in here. It's so beautifully done. It's all new, like new visors, a new mirror, a new dash pad, and new handles, and new clips, and new door lock knobs. It's just on and on and on. I ramble on about that stuff because I build these cars all the time and I know what it takes to add all this stuff. Here is a great, can you imagine going to dinner with another couple in this car? Or going out with the kids to go someplace? Or going to the beach in this car? It changes your life, man. It's a whole different experience. We throw in the modern conveniences with air conditioning, right? And the stereo and the tilt wheel and the really nice lap wrap three <laughs> three spoke wrapped wheel. That was not easy to say. Anyway, we tried and we moved on. Console, buckets, just fabulous. All right, so some of the things that we didn't talk about, for instance, the upgraded canvas convertible top. It's this black cloth convertible top. It just looks so rich. It's made of the some of the same thing uh, like you would get in a, in a boat, sailcloth. Uh, the, st the staggered 18 inch and 20 inch Coy's wheels with the big brakes and red calipers showing through. It's just got so much going on. The reason I highlight all this stuff because everybody will say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't know why it's a great looking car. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Call us 301-816-1000. This car is definitely going to be gone soon. I'd love to find a way to get it into your garage, right? And I'd love to hear your comments on Camaros that you've ridden in the past or Camaro people that you know that have great cars. Talk to us about this. We love to engage. And uh, don't forget to click on the link below. We'll give you a nice description of this, pricing, and a website with lots of other cars.